from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from Let's get on to our next game. We're going back to the West Coast for the pack. We got uh, Utah traveling to USC, dealing with an interim coach. I know, and I did, I have been seeing a couple of memes going around, like how uh, Urban Meyer's kicking himself in the foot. Because I know, had he not been coaching and for the Jaguars right now, he definitely would have went to USC and, and trying to see if he could turn that program around. And, you know, with everything that's been going on in the media with him, he would have been all on them little girls out there for shit show all on <laughs> campus. That would have been right up. He would have opened up a, he would have opened up about three bars all on different sides of the town in, in, in LA. But uh Utah, the Utes, they're two and two on the year, 0 and four against the spread, while USC, they are three and two on the year and three and two against the spread as well. See if there's any serious injuries right now. Uh Utah, they do have quite a few guys out. So, well, he, I wonder if he's part of that, that family tree. Uh, he's questionable for this game. Uh, they did lose a defensive attack on Maloa. He has, is out for the season. McKinney, defensive back, he is questionable. Uh, v. Davis, defensive back, he's questionable as well. Man, all these guys are out with undisclosed. And, and Brock Brighton, he's out for the season, undisclosed. Uh, and Bishop, he's questionable, undisclosed. And, but running back, Bernard, he is he was injured last game, so he's questionable for this game. So man, I don't know. Utah, they got some problems up there. They, they better get the get with the kid go. Uh USC, tight end follow, he is out. Uh safety Allen, he's out. No, follows questionable. The safety, he's out. McCoy, wide receiver, he's out indefinitely. He's dealing with legal problem. Uh any serious major injuries right now. Running back Campbell, he's questionable. Cornerback Ote. He's questionable as well, and Robert C. Ford, he's questionable. Utah, they're coming off a 24 to 13 victory, a tough victory against uh, Wazoo, Washington State, for those that don't know. Why USC, they're coming off a 37 14 victory against Colorado. Utah, they're 1 and 4 against the spread in the last five games. They're overseeing five out of the last seven. They're 5 and 2 straight up in the last seven games on the year. Oh, five, 5 and 2 straight up in the last seven games. Three and seven, though, straight up in the last 10 games from playing against USC. And they're eight and four against the spread in the last 12 games on the road. USC, they're six and three against the spread in the last nine games. They're 11 and four straight up in the last 15 games. They always hit four out of the last uh, six games against Utah. And they're eight and three straight up in the last 11 games at home. And they're five and zero straight up in the last five games when playing at home against Utah. But Utah, USC, Pac-12 at the dark. Flat top, I'm gonna let you take this since you're the closest to the West Coast than us. How you feel about this one? Uh feel good about this one. So as far as this game, um, you know, Utah's got that long laundry list of injuries. Um, they just squeaked by Washington State, and that's actually my alma mater, and they are terrible this year. Absolutely terrible. They uh the fact that they were within 12 tells me everything I need to know about this game. Uh, I'm rocking with USC, the points. Um, I think they'll blow that out, but uh, rapid fire. Utah, or USC minus three. I think it's You went to good. Utah? I went to Wazoo. So, oh, uh, Wazoo, Wazoo. Okay, and okay. And Utah, yeah, they're terrible. So the fact that they were leading at halftime, unbelievable. Okay. All right, Marlon, how you feel about this one? Uh, I like USC. Um, I like them first half and money line, and I like them minus three as well. Um, I just don't think uh, along with the injuries, I don't think US, uh, Utah is ready to go up into USC um, for a nightcap and win on the road. Every time they play up in competition, they pretty much lost. Um Defense is still pretty much okay. They're giving up 22 points a game, but it's just not – they're not quite there yet. All right. Um, as far as myself, uh, Utah, they're not a good team. Uh, Brewer's not a good quarterback. He, uh, he had one great year with uh, Matt Rule, my guy with the Panthers, which we coming up, baby, right now with, <laughs> with these defensive backs. So, hopefully next year everybody stick around. We're going to be right. 
But Brewer's not a good quarterback. He definitely doesn't fit the Utah system. I like USC money line for this one. I look for them to take care of business and show that they do still have some athletes on the field. We gon' make a way, got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from